Today's topic is endometrial cancer. Endometrial cancer is a type of cancer arising from the tissue of the uterus. The uterus is the hollow, pear-shaped organ in females where fetal development occurs. The top is the fundus. The middle is the cervix. The inner layer is the endometrium. And the outer layer is the myometrium. Endometrial cancer begins in the layer of cell that forms the lining of the uterus. The lining is called the endometrium. Other types of cancer can form in the uterus, including uterine sarcoma, but they are not as common as endometrial cancer. If left untreated, endometrial cancer can spread to the rectum, fallopian tubes, ovaries, or other organs. Causes The exact cause is unknown. Some experts suggest that a high level of estrogen may be responsible for this condition. If there is a shift in the balance between the two female hormones, namely the progesterone and the estrogen, the endometrium can change. This means that an increased estrogen without corresponding increased progesterone can result in the thickening of the endometrium and increase the likelihood for cell abnormality and cancer. What is known for sure is that something triggers a genetic mutation within the cells in the endometrium. These causes normal cell in the endometrium to become abnormal and multiply rapidly to form a tumor. Certain factors that may increase the risk of getting endometrial cancer may include older age, obesity. Approximately 40% of cases are related to obesity. Estrogen replacement therapy when not balanced with progestin. A woman who has never been pregnant may be at a higher risk. Beginning menstruation at an early age. Having a gene that is linked to hereditary non-polyposis or Lynch syndrome. Early menstruation. Late menopause. High blood pressure. Diabetes. Breast cancer. Use of tamoxifen. Polycystic ovary syndrome a previous case of ovarian cancer, low immune function. Symptoms, bleeding between periods or periods that last longer than usual, vaginal bleeding or discharge not related to a menstrual period, pelvic pain or lower abdominal pain, pain during sexual intercourse, pain with urination. Diagnosis and treatment. The doctor will review your family and medical history and will carry out certain tests, which may include Pelvic examination, where a careful inspection of the uterus, vagina, rectum, and bladder is carried out to check for abnormalities. Transvaginal ultrasound, to look at the thickness and the texture of the endometrium and help rule out other conditions. Hysteroscopy, that allows your doctor to visualize and examine the inside of the uterus and endometrium. Endometrial biopsy, where a small portion of tissue from the endometrium is removed for testing in the lab. Dilation and curatage, a procedure to remove tissue from the inner lining of the uterus. This is done if enough tissue can't be removed during a biopsy or if biopsy results are unclear. The stages of the cancer are determined based on how far cancer has spread. This will help the doctor to determine the best treatment option. Tests such as chest x-ray, CT scan, and blood tests can be used to determine your cancer stage. Stage 1. Cancer is confined to the uterus. Stage 2. Cancer is present in both the uterus and cervix. Stage 3. Cancer has spread beyond the uterus but hasn't spread to the rectum and bladder. Stage 4. Cancer has spread to the bladder, rectum, and more distant part of the body. Treatment. The stage, your general health, and preference will determine the treatment option. Treatment option may include surgery to remove the uterus, as well as the fallopian tubes and ovaries. Radiation therapy that uses powerful energy beams, such as x-rays, to kill the cancer cell. Hormone therapy, which may include either medication to increase the amount of progesterone in the body, or medications to reduce the amount of estrogen in the body. Chemotherapy that involves using medication injected intravenously or taken orally 
to kill the cancer cell. Supportive care that aims to improve the quality of life for people with cancer and their families is helpful. If combined with all of the other treatment options, people with cancer may live longer and feel better. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.